Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before I get started with this week's live reaction of Toriko La La, I do want to make an announcement for a new manga platform that has a current project on Kickstarter right now called the Shining Otaku Manga Platform, where basically this platform, the idea here is to have a very similar YouTube system for manga where in which people can upload whatever manga they create to this particular site so basically if you are intrigued about that then check it out that'll be the first link in the box below where you have all the details pertaining to the shining otaku manga platform and if you do like what you see then be sure to spread the word so that being said let us dive into this week's chapter of toriko Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning here today, Toriko! The Another News Earth, Adam, let's eat! These men sat as mere humans, and they will rise as deities. The time for the feast of epic proportion begins now. And Toriko, of course. Wow, this is a Cassia seafood dish. Another so moist, <laughs> so moist. Toriko intaking another. <laughs> Might as well show you this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that piece of meat in his lips. No homo. Pause. Seriously though, <laughs> I won't eat some of that. Seriously, I would be all over that, like a hawk on ham. What is this? The ground is meat. Yo, okay, so they're really going hard. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, when it comes to another, when you eat it, you can experience a whole new scope of taste, and the ground looks like meat. What the hell is going on with that tongue? Tongue action, whoa. Jordan, you got competition. What is that? It's not even a tongue anymore. It's like his organs just coming out of his body. Oh, good lord, man. The rock looks like meats and fruits and sh Oh, that's crazy. So it has like a mind of its own where Toriko's tongue it basically extends out of his body. It looks like meat and stuff, but it's actually rocks. Toriko is now going to consume these pebbles. So everything is edible when it comes to a gourmet cell. He just munched on those fucking rocks. Delicious. Wow. I mean, shit, pebbles are not... Gordon Ramsay certified, fuck no, they're not. To Toriko and company right now, things like granite, jasper, gypsum, copper, silver, gold, edible. The rocks, they're so freaking good. Is that in the shape of a dude? No, 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 we got a problem here. Cause look at that, there's a gap. It's like a torso, but it's a torso of like fish and steak. Oh, that's a problem. Yo, Toriko's gonna eat somebody. You scare the crap out of me. It's just you, Star. I thought you were a big lump of food and nearly ate you without thinking twice about it. That would've been bad. Oh, that, that would've been... <laughs> the story would've ended right then and there. Okay, we're getting the baby scene. You got two kids. Uh... Wait. Wait, whoa. What? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, what? What the? Wait a s- No fucking way! Hold on! Mitsutoshi, what? Bullshit! Okay, hold on, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So, we got Starjun as a baby, and, 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 Torik? Wait, they're twins? Surprise, motherfucker. Wait. Wait, 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 hold the fuck on right now, dude, 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 wait a second, are you, are you, are you serious right now? Toriko, I think, was state to be born with black hair, stars in the, wait, get, get the fuck out of here. 
wait a second, hold on. Wait a second, you just can't make them brothers this late in the game. It makes no goddamn sense. Wait, what? How? What? Why? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Wait a second. This is funky. I'm not even too sure how to perceive this right now. I'm, I'm confused. All right, the King Lightning is just mind fucked right now. You're telling me, you're telling me, Starjin and Toriko are twins. How? Wait. Why? How? How does that make? <laughs> oh wow! I don't even know where to go with this. I'm, I'm, I'm not even like. Like, I, so the entire time, brothers were fighting each other, and wait, so this is a very similar effect to, to Asarudi, when another was finally done being cooked, and you had, like, the flood of another come out of the piece of uh, fish that Komatsu had cooked. It washed over Asarudi, and Asarudi was able to remember his former lover. This is the same thing with another. The memory of the gourmet cell allows one to understand that anything can be consumed. That's what it is. It's the memory. So Starjun was able to remember when he was in the womb of some woman and apparently his bro is Toriko. I... Is this a bad thing? I, you know what? I... Let me just save all this for later because this is actually a very shocking turn of events. Like I am dumbfounded right now because I just am. I, I, all right, we're moving on. Starjun stud cannot believe what he just remembered. Cannot believe at all. I can't believe it. And then you go down, looks at Toriko immediately. Toriko and Starjun. This entire time, these crazy battles, this rivalry, it's a rivalry between brothers. Alright, okay, let's let's move on. Yeah, so they've all unlocked the tongue. Why is Sonny's tongue like just pure hair? It's weird. So you got Zebra's tongue just looking all just just funky and black and shit. This is the weird one here, clearly. I mean it's it's a hair tongue. How do you even perceive that? It's it's ugh. And then Coco's tongue is just well, it's it's, it's Coco's tongue. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's Coco's tongue. Yo, yo, we are getting some intel on the gourmet demons, the memory of the gourmet demons of the four heavenly kings. Start off with Sunny. Once there was a voracious hair monster that would devour creatures and even planets, swallowing them whole. It would then vomit them back out to take control of as its own. It would then vomit them back out to take control of as its own. As if they were its own? Maybe? Uh -huh. A demon which also ruled the Milky Way. The whole fucking galaxy. Sunny, the demon that lurks within you is nearly unimaginable in its power. You see the saying here. It's active now. And this is the former ruler of the Milky Way. Okay, so think about this for a second. If Don Slime was the king of the universe, the entire universe, then the Milky Way galaxy was under the lordship of Sane hair. That's crazy. That, that is ridiculous. Okay, so way back when, when it was stated during the Cooking Island arc that if Sunny Sane hair was let loose, it would go around consuming all life on planets. It was a multi life viper. Well, I mean, back in the day, apparently, not only would it consume all life on the planets and even the core of the planets, but apparently it would even swallow whole planets. Who is next? Who is next? Who is next? Coco! Hey! And of course, the lethal deadly poison with countless creatures held captive and enslaved by its poisoning. The poison devil ruled over a gigantic planet. Coco, it frightens me to the core, wondering what would have happened if you had been an enemy. Okay. So, I mean, maybe he's impressive. I mean, don't get me wrong. Countless creatures 
held captive and enslaved. And you can see this gigantic army behind the gourmet demon that lurks inside of Coco. Just, oh, look at that, man. Just endless. Just an endless supply of freaks. But he's not ruling the Milky Way. I mean, I mean, a gigantic planet, you know, like Jupiter. Okay, yeah, that's amazing. But the Milky Way, the Milky, the Milky Way, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The Milky Way. That's very, very impressive. Here we go. And the voice demon who destroyed innumerable planets with his sheer physical strength and his wicked menacing voice. Zebra, if the demon side of you was ever revived, every living thing would have to escape the planet to survive. Yeah, wow! Could, could, could escape the planet? Nah. I don't think there'd be anywhere to run. Yo, that's crazy. Wait a second. Are you fucking serious right now? Yo, oh God. And the voice demon who destroyed innumerable planets with his sheer physical strength and his wicked menacing voice. Look, look, look at this guy. Let me, no, let me, let me get a bad, here we go. Look at this freak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But I thought that sound couldn't travel through space. I thought that, yeah, you, when you yell in space, no one can hear you. Well, apparently, everybody's hearing this motherfucker. <laughs> and also, just like Saiyan here on some random asteroid in the middle of the galaxy, destroyed innumerable, innumerable planets. Okay, so the final one's gonna be Toriko? Maybe Komatsu? No, no, oh, no, never mind, no, it's Toriko. It's him. Yes, I called it. I, I called it. I, I called it. Oh, look at him. Look, look, does that not look familiar? What did I say when it came to the same chapter where it was revealed that Neo Demon had spent a few hundred mil million years uh, reviving itself because it died either, either through a supernova or through fighting a very powerful warrior species? This guy was among the powerful warrior species, and this guy is Toriko's gourmet demon. I was right on the money. Compared to the other demons, this one was gentle, but once enraged, he was an unmatched warrior. The aloof, <laughs> the aloof superior ogre. <laughs> what is oh, that's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, no, wait a second. Although his special trait would be his finely honed sense of smell, his individual strength has been hailed. His individual strength has been hailed as history's greatest. Furthermore, it seems that there's still yet another demon lurking inside you, Toriko. There are two more. Who the fuck are these broken bastards? So if we're comparing him to zebras, we're comparing him to Coco's, we're comparing him to even the Saiyan hair, right? The former ruler of the Milky Way galaxy. It is the superior ogre, the aloof superior ogre. It is his individual strength that has been hailed as history's greatest. What about Blue? Can, can we get some intel on Blue? Right? What's Blue's history? How many galaxies did Blue control? And then the other dude, the other dude, oh, come please. Come, come, come on, see, now I'm at height. See, now I want more. Toriko's tongue, that's not Blue's tongue, clearly, that's Red's tongue. And what I find a little bit strange here is the fact that we have not seen Blue come to light, even though he's eating another. He eats different things than Red. And I'd figure, okay, so once you consume another, you can eat everything because everything can be edible when it comes to a gourmet demon. However, it looks like Blue's still not coming out yet. I mean, maybe not yet, but he's not out now and I find that a little bit strange. So how does Toriko unlock the powers of Blue? <laughs> Let alone the guy with the wings. What is this? And Aymaru has nobody. So you see all of the gourmet demons just chilling and eating. Now I think about it, Toriko's and uh, Starjans, they do wear a similar garb. You even see Komatsu's in the back. Komatsu, he's even gourmet deeming up. And then you have the rest of them. So you have the Saiyan hair, you have the freak, the voice demon. 
you have the former ruler of this gigantic planet, and then you have little old Aimaru, who is rocking nobody. There is not a single thing going on with Aimaru, and that, I think, is a wee bit ridiculous. Unless Aimaru's not eating the... Wait, hold on. Is he actually eating? Aimaru should be eating. Is he really gonna fast when another news Earth and Adam are in front of him? No. Aimaru, grab a spoon. It's done! They're done. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say grab a spoon, but... Well, so much for that feast. <laughs> it's gone. There's more. The can that he got during Area 6. The can that I completely forgot about. This can. There's something in the can. What's in the can? What's in the can? Who's in the box? What's in the can? What's in the box? What's in the can? What's in the fucking box? Oh, never mind. No, I'm sorry. Not area six, area eight. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. The random treasure room that they found. I completely forgot about that. Oh, shit. So let me remind you guys. So this moment right here in area, in um area eight. No, before area eight, where they're in Utah Island. I believe there was a can that Komatsu found. I forgot what this can completely. Toriko, he sniffs. Whatever's inside this can, I'm putting it in my full course. He just had Earth, an, well, first of all, Earth and Adam should not belong to Toriko in its full course. That belongs to Sunny and Coco. He just had news, he just had another. He's not putting them in his full course. Whatever's in the can, what's in the can? What's ever in the can, he's putting that in his full course. In Area 6, when we were preparing the materials to create the golden cookware, I secretly asked Melk if he could create a can opener for me. A golden can opener. So, let us see what is in this can of wonders. A thrilling, heart-pounding opening. Oh, fuck me. Are you serious? Inside of that can, it can't be. What, what do you know, Gigi? What do you know? What's in the can? What's in the can? That is the can, but the chapter is over. Well, let me just turn the page real quick to make sure that's over. Okay, so it's over. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Fuck, dude, the suspense. I'm hoping that whatever's in the can will allow him to start to activate blue, at, at least blue, please. Whatever's in the can, please. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am done. Check over here for the previous chapter review, and also, if you have the time, once again, check out the Shining Otaku Manga Platform Kickstarter project. That will be the first link you'll see in the box below. So, King of Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe, as always. I will see you guys and gals later. Have a nice goddamned day. What's in the can? <laughs>